how often people ask questions on communication skills but mind you communication skills are different from spoken english or learning any language for that matter so here we are with the topic the top 10 communication skills wherein we try and give you what are the skills which comes under communication skills very minutely we are taking a deep dive so be ready and the number one is emotional intelligence emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your emotions so as to communicate effectively avoid stress overcome challenges and empathize with others it's a skill which is learned over time rather than obtained so there are four main strands to emotional intelligence one is self awareness the second is self management the third is social awareness and the fourth is relationship management so each of these strands is important in its own way and allows you to communicate confidently with a variety of people number 2 cohesion and clarity good communication is much more than saying the right thing it is about communicating messages clearly and concisely before you start a conversation type an email or begin a discussion have in mind what the purpose of the communication is and what information you hope to obtain as a result lack of clarity and cohesion can result in poor decisions and confusions number 3 friendliness in any type of communication make sure that you set the right tone a friendly tone will encourage others to communicate with you always try to personalize messages particularly when working with partners or fellow colleagues wishing the recipient a good weekend for example is a great way to personalize your message even as soon as you finish your discussion you can always bid the other person wishing them a good day number 4 confidence in all interactions confidence but not over confidence is crucial demonstrating confidence will give customer faith in your abilities to deliver what they need and that you will follow through with what you have promised so conveying confidence can be something as simple as maintaining eye contact during a conversation or using a firm but friendly tone when speaking with people over telephone be careful not to come across as aggressive since this will have the opposite effect of what you are hoping to achieve number 5 empathy now we have heard this word a lot of times and what do we mean by empathy is simple if you have gone through such a situation and gone through an emotion you can only correlate to that particular situation or an emotion so stepping into other shoes and knowing what kind of an emotion they are going through is actually very close to empathy within a busy work environment everyone will have their own ideas about how things should be done even if you have disagreements with your colleagues or partners their point of view should be also considered and respected empathy is also beneficial when speaking with customers in certain types of customer facing role the goal here is to understand where the other person is coming from and respecting their views even if they are very different from your own number 6 respect empathy leads into the next communication skill and that is respect if you respect the ideas and opinions of others they will be more likely to communicate with you active listening or simply using the name of the person you are speaking to can both be effective make sure that when you type emails 
you don't write in a way that is insincere number 7 listening good communication is all about listening effectively and when we say listening effectively or active listening what we mean is that you need to identify the intent or the purpose of that communication if you focus on that intent and purpose part most of the communication are well comprehended take the time to listen to what the other person is saying and practice active listening all the time pay attention to what the other person is saying ask questions and clarify points and rephrase what they have said so that you know you have understood it correctly or not number 8 open mindedness now this word is a self explanatory word by itself and what it means is you are absolutely open minded and take things as they come with a pinch of salt try to enter into communications without having an agenda is what we call as open mindedness strong communications require an open mind and a commitment to understanding other people's point of view if you disagree with the people you are speaking to try to reach a middle ground that benefits all parties approaching a discussion with an open mind is more likely to result in a successful outcome number 9 tone of voice the tone of your voice can set the whole mood of the conversation If you start the discussion in an aggressive or unhelpful manner the recipient will be more inclined to respond in a similar way the tone of your voice will include the level of emotion that you use the volume you use and the level of communication you choose the same sentence can have a very different meaning depending on which words are emphasized and the tone of your voice In a customer complaint scenario for example your tone of voice should be as calm as possible since an unfriendly tone of voice will only serve to worsen the situation and lose the customer for lifetime number 10 asking good questions very very critical good questions can help conversations flow and improve the outcome during a conversation always aim to ask open ended questions these are questions with prompts which encourage the recipient to speak more about certain points and they require more detailed responses if you need further information still you can use probing questions which request even more information from the recipient such as tell me the process about what is in your opinion how you see this in your experience during the conversation include a mixture of questions including clarification what if scenarios and open ended questions to make sure that you achieve what you set out to do at the beginning of the call or conversation it is likely that you will need to show evidence of your own communication skills during a competency based interview so questions you may be asked include give an example of how you dealt with a difficult or sensitive situation that required extensive communication give me an example of how you dealt with a difficult customer at work tell me about a time when you had to explain an issue or process to a colleague at work Tell me about a time when you taught someone else something. How do you explain things to other people? So which jobs require communication skills? Almost every occupation requires strong communication skills in one way or the other. The job that you are applying for will determine which communication skills you will need and the extent to which these will be used. Here are some examples. Communication skills are most sought after for each. teaching a teacher will need a range of communication skills including clarity active listening and empathy to name a few they will need to use their listening skills to understand the difficulties that students are having along with excellent writing skills to be able to prepare reports and plans for their lessons 
financial services while writing communication skills are essential when drafting documents or reports finance folk also need to be good at listening so as to cooperate with partners stakeholders and employees a financial accountant will require the ability to ask questions when they are preparing accounts or conducting company audits so they can build a full picture of the business in question marketing of course within a marketing role good communication is essential not only will marketers have to communicate with business owners to find out about their clients they also need to ask questions enter into negotiations with confidence and secure new business all of which require a unique combination of good communication skills human resource human resource staff will need to ask the right questions communicate with clarity and draft documents such as contracts with policies they will often have to act with discretion and take people into their confidence emphasizing communication skills in your cv or interview while drafting your cv review the job description and person specification carefully paying particular attention to any mentioned skills and if you have got value added think about communication skills in a broader picture now wish you great luck thank you